So in this activity, we're going to learn how to connect our little screen. The reason to use the screen is it will show us text and numbers continuously on the screen, which makes it easier to monitor that your sensors are collecting the data that you think it is collecting. You can also use text and data on the screen to see if you've got an error in the code because you can put in little checks and balances within your code itself. So let's get started. And same place where we normally start, we're going to start with makecode.microbit.org. I've already installed the extension for the water temperature probe. And again, that you have to go to GitHub and we have another video on how to connect up your water temperature sensor. So you can go check that one out to see how we get that from GitHub. But we also have to install an extension for our little screen. So if we go down to extensions and we do a search for OLED screen or we use Tinker Academy a lot. And, oops, I forgot my little space. Tinker, and I forgot Tinker Academy. There we go. Now it should pop up. There we are. So you're going to type the word Tinker Academy in the search box. And you're going to get a whole slew of extensions that you can install. We want the Tinker Kit one. So you're going to click on that. And what you're going to get when you finish the installation is you're going to get a Tinker Academy block just as soon as it finishes. And you're going to get an OLED block. And this is the block that's going to allow us to control our screen. We're not going to really use the Tinker Academy block, but the OLED one we will use a lot. So first thing we need to do is under the OLED block, we have initialize. Again, the micro bit isn't very smart. It only knows what you tell it. And it doesn't know that you're going to attach something to it. So we need to initialize that. And why we use the Tinker Academy one is the default settings for the screen are perfect, 128 pixels tall, or wide, 64 pixels tall. So this tells our program to install everything we need to use our screen. Now from here on out, it's pretty similar to how you would read something on the microbit screen itself. So let's go in. We're going to create a variable, let's just say temperature again because I'm going to be collecting temperature data. I am going to set my temperature in my forever loop, and I am going to set that to my temperature of my probe, and I am going to have my temperature probe on P0. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm going to install my screen. It's going to get installed in the I2C port, as it's the only that the screen will work on. Okay. So my temperature is in P0, my screen is in I2C, and now if I want to show something on my screen, I go back to my OLED display, and I'm going to say, let's show strength, and I'm going to say water temp equals, so that's going to show me the words water temp on the screen. And I'm going to do the OLED again, and I'm going to say show number. And the number that I want to show is temperature. Okay. So I'm reading the temperature from my probe, and now I'm going to show it on the screen, and I'm going to show my number. Now there's an important step here that we have to include, is you have to include a pause statement. And the pause statement is up under our basic block, and you can drag this pause statement down here to the bottom of our step. Because this program will run so fast that the water temp and temperature will flash on the screen and you won't have time to read it. So we need to slow this down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it down for two seconds. And so it will show you the reading for every two seconds. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go under my OLED and I'm going to clear that screen. Right. And if you don't clear it, what will happen is you'll see that the two lines, water temperature and temperature, 
the number will appear over and over again until it fills up the screen <laughs> and then it gets very difficult to read so I show my numbers I clear the screen show the numbers again clear the screen so it's constantly refreshing the screen with the new information that makes it a little bit easier to see and that is really all of our program that we need to do to be able to show information on the screen so now we're going to do the same process that we do all the time is I'm going to install my microbit. I've got to plug in my USB into my computer. Okay. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to click download. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder. There it popped up, perfect. Now that I've hit the download button, now what I need to do is drag my micro bit over to my micro bit. There it is. So there's my name of my file, micro bit underscore screen. We just drag it to my micro bit. There it's dragging. All right, it's transferred. So now on my screen, you should see a refresh of the data. And it can be a little hard to see on the camera. Um, but now we can see the water temperature is flashing and it says it's 26.25 degrees. Uh, that's basically the room temperature in here because it's just sitting out here on the desk. And so you can test that by holding it. And you should see the temperature slowly increase. So it just went to 28.37. Now it's at 30, 31. And that's how we get our information on the screen.